it's me, Sandy, and I love perfume and I love my whippets. So uh, today I'm just going to show you how I keep my whippets clean <laughs> and uh, smelling good. So it kind of relates to perfume. Come here, Daisy, come. Daisy, come. She just, she wants to eat right now. Okay, so these are the basics. So whippets don't need baths very often, you know, unless they get actually dirty. Um, yeah, just rarely do they need like an actual like shampooing and all that stuff. But Daisy, look, we're gonna, oh, Daniel, hold on. <laughs> yeah, this is a recurring problem. They love the toothbrush. <laughs> he got it. Okay, so I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I brush their teeth every day. I know I should. It's once a week on a good week. <laughs> they love it. Um, we don't get a whole lot of tooth brushing done. I put, they ate the toothpaste tube. That's why I squeezed what was left into this little Tupperware here. So I just get some of the toothpaste, which is, you know, obviously digestible for puppies. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna brush your teeth. Oh, what a good boy. Oh my goodness. You're so good. You are, yes. Try not to make it too traumatic, you know. <laughs> it doesn't tend to go very well. I mean, they're not like biting or anything, but they're just like, <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> so that's how that goes. They like it because they like the taste. Um, okay, so then, you know, I, like I said, I just do that now and then. Um, oh dear, she's gonna hump him. <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> Daisy, Daisy, come on, little lady. <laughs> Okay. Hey, let's clean your ears. So then you want to clean their ears. <laughs> it was turning into a porno. <laughs> I'll have to like, you know, I'll end up not able to post it. <laughs> so this is 50-50. Um, Here, Daisy, let's show everybody how we clean your ears. Vinegar, white vinegar, and alcohol. Now I'm just gonna clean your ears, my little peanut. What a good girl. Oh, she's so good. All right, so they're, you know, I clean their ears. It's quick, cheap. I didn't buy any fancy ear cleaning stuff. Um, okay, so then let's talk about muddy paws. Just the nature of our backyard is such that it's a mud bog <laughs> for about six months. Um, we, we live in town. We have like a regular size backyard. We take them on long walks and they get to run loose in certain locations. But, you know, their, our, their backyard space is pretty small. I mean, they can run around kind of in circles, but those circles destroy the grass and um, they get real muddy feet. So. My husband will pick each dog up and put them in the laundry sink and we installed like a pull out hose on the laundry sink <clears throat> and he just does their feet that way. I can do that with her, but not with him. He's just too much for me to lift. So I have a couple tips here for you. So obviously a no brainer would be little paw, doggy paw wipes. I have no idea if these are any different than baby wipes, um, unscented, you know. Um, I think wipes aren't probably the best thing for the environment, uh, but sometimes you really need these. But here's my favorite tri trick, tip. Um, so I take this and we have a hot tap, like for making hot tea. So I'll put about this much hot water in, put about there to the cool, stir it up with my finger so I can feel it and then I have instantly warm water um, just because our water takes a few minutes to get warm. So then I'm gonna see if I can lower this down to show you what I do. So then I take my little, my little peanuts. Oh, she's a limp noodle. Stand up, mommy. Okay, 
<laughs> Scoot this back a little bit. So I wouldn't do this. I don't know how to do this. I would do this with them with all fours on the ground. I have my warm water and I just lift up one leg and I swish it around and I reach in and clean the paw and then gently dry. And I do that with all four paws. That works really well. It gets it, um, it gets it really as clean as if I had lifted them into the sink. So that's my favorite back saving uh, muddy paw trick. We talked even about putting in like a, a dog wash station in our laundry room. Um, I don't know, it just seems like not very feasible. So this is my solution and it does work quite well. And I bought a bunch of these yellow rags at Costco. These are our dog rags. I keep them in a certain place. They have their own little hamper. That's a nice trick when they come in, you know, we can just dry them with these or even after a bath. And then they're like all the dog stuff. And my last trick, this ties into my perfume. Don't hate me, okay, if you think this is cruel. I'll give them like a spritz or two <laughs> of the Chi deodorizing spray for dogs. Um, not, not daily, maybe once or twice a month, if that. Like if, if we're going to a thing where there's gonna be people and I don't, you know, I just give like a spritz down their back, but it really works. It smells amazing, it smells like Chi and it deodorizes them, it makes them shiny. Um, I love this stuff. I mean, I don't know if you can tell how much is gone, but yeah, you can. Uh, but I mean, we've had this for two years, so I don't use it a ton. Um, but they don't mind it and they smell really good. And people say, oh, they smell so good. <laughs> uh, but whippets are easy to keep clean. They're just a clean breed uh, with their sleek hair. Um, and they're just sweethearts. So I just thought it would be fun to show you my little cleaning routine that we go through um, most of the time. We, have a, we had a brush. It was one of those, it's like a glove you put on and it had rubbery nubs. You brush it, oh, they would line up for that. They love that. And then they ate it. <laughs> That's kind of like the story of my life. Uh, they, um, they have a penchant for eating my shoes and they only like the good ones. So last night, actually, I lost my last pair of dance goes. They were super cute, suede, block heel, dance goes, uh, Mary Janes. Um, I wore them to work yesterday, kicked them off. I should have known better. So I said goodbye to those today. <laughs> um, anyway. I hope this was interesting to anybody interested in whippets or greyhounds or any kind of, you know, similar um, maintenance level dog with the sleek hair. Um, I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.